had a series of visions when I was younger. And after each one ended, the same thought would be stuck in my head. What did you see? I saw none. Word of my visions reached the church, and I was asked to accompany a priest to an abbey in Romania. The abbey has a long history. Valak. Not all good. It's been 25 long years, but finally our patience has been rewarded. We saw Sister Act 3. Always be nunning. And Wolfie's at it again. But this time, she's pissed. Always be nunning. The Republicans are in office. She's coming for skulls, motherfucker. Damn. This, uh, this movie was a, you know, a series and long line of Conjuring movies, which I'm slowly growing less and less fond of. Even the original The Conjuring movie. Basically the same thing happens in every one. Can we get a, a uh, ghost movie? That it doesn't involve possession being the ultimate, you know, goal. Mm. Give me some spooks and scares. How about the uh, weird <laughs> the nun intro? By the, way. the weird nun intro? Yeah. Or not intro, the, the, uh, yeah, the flashback it's... intro. They're what do they call them? that in a superhero oh, movie? Good Origin Lord. story for oh, a yeah. demon nun? Yeah. They, they just come right out and tell you everything. It's during medieval times and this kooky Satanist uh, warlord and... Romania, oddly enough, decides to, you know, just do some uh, witchcraft. Get into a little demonic stuff. Sacrifices and the like. Uh, to Thaisa Farmiga was the young nun in the name of the Hispanic man who Damien was the priest. Damien Bashir. Yeah, Damien Bashir. My overall impression of this movie is, um... You could have really made something good, but it was mostly... Mostly boring. More jump scares than deaths. There's, see, throughout most of the movie, we just see the first nun who kills herself at the Abbey to sort of the opening scary score piece. We only see Taisa and the father and Frenchy. some fucking French Canadian who loves Frenchy. shenanigans. Yeah, um, I, I, I think the best kind of phrase for this is missed opportunity. Yeah. Um, I really liked the, the character of the nun in the the beginning parts of The Conjuring 2. Um, that the third act just goes CG fucking nuts of land and, and it was the castle nuts. CG in a lot of these yeah, scenes. Yeah, I think for sure. Yeah, because sometimes it looked like okay, they're definitely at a castle, and then I'm like, yeah. that castle definitely it looks off. It doesn't look right. Yeah, it, it reminded me of the the castle in Winchester, which was also I that think, was a that was CG. a mansion. Mansion, castle, whatever. I don't know why I just felt the need to correct you on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm tired, guys. <laughs> and I'm tired of movie pass dicking me around. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it really feels like a missed opportunity. Um, I liked a lot of elements of this. You know, there was like some nice the, stuff. Yeah, there's there's a couple scenes that I was like, wow, this is, this is really good. The uh, snake thing when it first happened, I thought that was pretty effective. I thought it was going to be lame. The, uh, the former... The boy? Yeah, the uh, former exorcism guy. Yeah. Um, for some reason that always does it for me, like it, spitting up something yeah, that's when, weird. when they cut to the side angle and it's like all shadow and you see the snake coming out. And, and squirming and shit. Yeah, but then they do a close-up and it's CG and you're like, oh, Yeah, well, do you, do you think they can, they're going to be able to perform magic, have a snake, a live snake coming out of a young, painted-up boy's have a, body? They could have a dummy or something or a fucking yeah. bomb or something, but... Yeah, um, the, the the one scene in particular that really worked for me is when they first go to the the castle and uh, they meet that... Like, the Abbey. The gr yeah, this is an Abbey. The Abbey. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that last the, one because uh, I got you before. The, the Grand Master, uh, like, nun, when they first the meet The Grand... Her, uh, whatever the, the saying is for... It's the Mother Superior. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't know if it was Mother Superior, but... 
Um, when they first are introduced to her and it's talking, whoever did the voice acting for uh, I liked that. She was. I did so like that. I wish creepy. that they they kept they that did going. More of that. Is that that really? Here's me here's what we're like, talking about. This they, is creepy. When as they fuck. first get to the abbey, there's this. They're walking through. Hello, is anyone there? Is it? He's a scruffy Hispanic guy. Never mind. Is anyone there? They're walking around. Nothing. All of a sudden, uh, little Taisa. I'm gonna stop calling her that. I call her Baby Farms. Why are the Farmiga family so interconnected to the Conjuring universe? Oh, that's right. It is her sister. Yeah. Sister? That was her goddamn mother. Eek. Alright. No, it's her sister. But anyways, they um enter, they're looking around, they go start going through a big hallway, she turns, there's the shadow. It's not a shadow at all, it's a goddamn nun sitting in a kooky old throne, stone chair. Yeah, that was great. She's talking and um I'm sitting there wondering, like, do they not realize this is either a demon or a possessed nun? Are you kidding me? That or she's. I don't know. I mean, it, it's. It, I, I didn't. I mean. We always <laughs> would be. Could have been a really, really old fucking man nun of the place. Cloaked all in black. Yeah. And just creepy as fuck. Yeah, sure. I know. Yeah, I, I know, but it worked. It worked for me. I no, really I liked, liked it, it, but I'm just saying, how do you guys course, not realize listen, this isn't a demon? There's decisions that these characters make where you're just like, what are you doing? Like A lot. There's one point where Teresa Fermiga says, like, at the end, she's like, um, what'd she say? She says, like, my god or something. It looks like a Japanese dub. Just the way she says it, it was really humorous to me. Uh -huh. But that's a small little nitpick, and nobody else is going to notice it, because I'm some sort of a, a winged freak of nature. Uh -huh. What, um, missed opportunities, I'm definitely in line with you there, because just think about that. The cab, the castle itself, it's a very, you're it's only creepy. getting natural light. It's yeah. going to be dark as fuck, and it's going to be gray as fuck all around you. Yeah, it's... Some it's, of the effects didn't, um, didn't hold up, though. No, I mean, there's not a tremendous amount of CG. It's once again... No, not just CG, whatever. Do you remember, um, the last part where the 12, they find, we'll go into the nun stuff in a little bit. The, um... She's getting chased around by nun silhouette, the nun uh, outfits, habits, but there's oh, the nobody they... in them. Oh, okay. There was a cool, at least two or three, four shots where you could tell it was just like a green, black, green man suit. Yeah. But I mean, it's not, unless you're really paying attention, you're not going to really notice it. It's not that distracting. I'm just saying that's one of the things I noticed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... The nun CG at the end wasn't great yeah, when she the, was in the water. Yeah, the the CG towards the end is also similarly to, like, The Conjuring 2, where I was like, oh, man, this is... Did you think it was going yeah. well earlier? It was... I didn't... As far as CG, I didn't yeah. think there was anything that was really bad. Yeah, there's nothing that really um, sticks out. But, uh, so I, I would say for positives, there was, there was some good ambiance. The soundtrack... It was very reminiscent. Some parts are very was, reminiscent uh, of The Shining, the sort of chanting stuff. The, They're doing that a, a lot in movies there now. Was a, there was a song on the radio that was really good that I liked. That was it creepy, was, uh, but also really nice. You belong to me. But yeah. it was from like the 50s or the 40s even. And um, It was so a lady singing, that creating was, music files. That was pretty good. Um, I thought Thaisa was okay as far as... Uh, she, wasn't, she was not She was okay, great. but there were some moments where it's like, ee. What are you doing, baby? Yeah, there was definitely Get some... back to fucking American Horror Story. She's on American Horror Story? At least the first oh. two, three seasons. Mm. But yeah, and da as as Damien I Bashir, it. I thought, was the best of everybody. Yeah, he was solid. He was really solid. I wish there was more focus on him, honestly. And because, like, there, that scene where he's dealing with a possessed boy with that huge cross, I was like, oh, that's great. I yeah. love that imagery. And um, there's not enough of that, actually. I even liked him when he's reading. They find. Was that body in the fucking. Uh, in the casket yeah. with him before. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we just couldn't see it. It's couldn't whatever. See it. Yeah, they didn't want to destroy a movie prop by having a guy lay on it. That's that's another thing I gotta get into. I really it's... liked. Um, we'll get into that in a second because I had yeah. a little problem with that. But I like um, yeah. when he was reading the books and stuff. I always find that unnerving, especially in the middle of a catacomb like castle. Yeah, I mean, I always like it when characters are kind of going through the mystery, but it it, it, it felt like a shoehorned in Valak thing, because yeah. even in the books, they have 
like a painting of the nun in it. And, and I was like, just, what? Yeah. Oh, what? That, that was a little lame. Also, Valak and Giant Water. I, I hated like, how ah. they tied it together at the end. I thought that was incredibly oh, lame. We'll, we'll get into the Yeah, spoilers, absolutely. I'm but, just, um, I just want to get I mean, that people, out there. People, if you've seen The Conjuring 2, you, you know the nun is Valak, but... Um, if you don't, and you see this movie, <laughs> now you will. Yeah, but uh, it's... Uh, they break rules in a way that I really didn't like, and we'll get into the whole Damien Bashir... How he gets in, like, oh, okay. like the laws of physics. I go kind of go like, what well, are not the, only that, the laws of the laws of older ghost movies? <laughs> are we uh, treating the material sincerely, or are we yeah. going wackadoo with it? Well, I mean, if we're going on like what we've seen in Conjuring too, I guess you like, figure nothing's we're going off serious. Limits, well, you know? nothing's off limits, but it's like, do you think a ghost could push somebody against the wall? Sure, why yeah. not? Yeah, like slamming doors, you know, the crosses going Do you think a ghost could stuff. dig up a grave and bury a man yeah, in it? Yeah, it's that. that just, within seconds, after he lands in it. Yeah, that that just was very bizarre. I, I was like, what are we I doing? I thought that they were going to do it he was dreaming. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. they're definitely going to do it he's just dreaming. That's the only way this yeah, makes they, sense. they don't really do it the dream. Another, another problem with this movie, the adopted Hemsworth brother. He's French-Canadian. Frenchy. Super, he turns into Ash from the Evil Dead towards uh, the end. It yeah, was very uh, bizarre. okay, yeah, I guess I could see Very strange for another, are we treating it seriously or are we yeah, treating it that, jokingly? That, that's a weird, because, like, the tone is, like, it switches. And Frenchy? Yeah. Shovel that, smash. Yeah, that, he was, he really didn't work for me. That Who I, loves you, baby? Yeah. That's Kojak, not Ash, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, uh. I I was really disappointed with him and his like one liners of you know it was I'm bad. French Canadian. The like, thing is, they were treating everything else so seriously for the most part. Everything else so seriously, yeah. and then we get into him, and it's like, what, did Sam totally Raimi rewrite this yeah. character or something? Yeah, you're probably right. It is probably a huge nod to Ash because I, I but didn't. But this really just think isn't about really that, the but... movie for that. Like, it's a sort no. of jokey '80s style. Because that a hero character, like this is, movie's not trying to be campy, and you're throwing camp in it, you know that. That so yeah, that didn't really work. Like, Did you like the opening scene? I thought I. Uh, the, I was very upset when they showed a scene from The Conjuring to like get yeah. everyone up to date. I was like, what? What are you Speaking doing? Speaking of the don't... end of the movie. Yeah, like that. That's so weird because they don't do that in. The, the other spinoff movies, the Annabelle. Well, the Annabelles, they connected together. Yeah, but they didn't do an overt, like, okay, we're stopping. Conjuring this and is... insidious fucking connections yeah, that, and shit. Yeah, that tie-in just felt very sloppy and, and awkward to All right, me. we're building, we're building a, uni a dark universe here, guys. Yeah. Fucking what's it called? Can't do it. Who was the uh, mummy makers? Whoa! Uh -huh. So, what other sort of things do you think would keep people out of the theater regarding this film? Keep Frenchy. <laughs> Frenchy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Frenchy. Got the just problems. Clash of themes, clash yeah. of tones. Yeah, the thing is, is that it's the tone, the tonal inconsistencies, like, they're few and far between, but when they hit you, it's like a. It's, it's like, very jarring. Yeah, it's like, what, what are you What do you think here? about the um, writing in this one? Overly uh, cliche or underly I wouldn't, or better? I, I wouldn't say cliche. I, I mean, there's there are elements that are cliche, but it's it's a rough script to me. It's especially the start, and um, you know, once we get into like like meeting Frenchie and some. I of the sort things. of liked. I liked the beginning of the movie a little bit. I like the whole God is not here, God ends here thing. Yeah, I sort of like that barrier it, thing. It's like, what are you doing? There was at least three times where I'm like, okay, you guys are standing you right next to the door. Already. Why don't you lock yeah. it? Yeah. And honestly, what are the, the odds? wasn't that scary to me in, in this movie. Yeah. No. I, I thought... She I, just was sort of floating around and yeah. ever so often jump scared. <laughs> Yeah, and then it wouldn't even be her, it'd be some other form for me, to scare us. When she was in the second film, The Conjuring, and you see that painting, that was so fucking creepy to me. Every scene with that. It was, I but I rewatched I watched it once. I thought it was okay. I rewatched it again. 
didn't, I didn't really do I much didn't love The Conjuring 2, but I loved those scenes. And, those and, images. Yeah, just those. It really stuck with me. Yeah. Um, and and those were all reshoots, apparently. that The Nun was not in the movie at all, and they just completely did that. Oh, my God. That. I can only really imagine how shitty it would have been without that. Oh, yeah. That, it's, it's Yeah, because I, I hated The Crooked Man. I I thought that was just shit in the movie. It, it was really very goofy. It was really goofy. It was, like, so CG and... I liked the little toy. I thought the daughter... Yeah, I liked that. I thought the daughter was, cool. was annoying. Like, um... When it was just her and she's kids. possessed and she's like... Interview my her. house. Yeah. No, like, yelling at one of her brothers or sisters. That's just one yeah. of the ones that sticks out to me. Back to, um... Back to the nun. Um, back in the nunnery. Um... I like that opening line, if I, didn't, if I didn't say so. There were more, um... I just wish they did more of that. Way more jump scares than deaths. Though another thing well, I was trying to get into, or maybe I wasn't, and I thought I was, the, um... At first I thought, are they really going to have this, just have three people in it the entire time? Yeah, I was nervous and about then that the nuns, first. And then they go in and they meet the nuns, and then... Oh, okay, I guess they're not that cheap. Right. But why'd they wait so long to bring them in? Practical news! Oh, oh wait. Incoming! <laughs> Told you to put one in his brain. Hot in his stinking face. <laughs> it turns out yeah. the nuns are, ne are dead or possessed Whoa. the entire time. Well, they're not. They we don't even meet them until forty five, fifty minutes in. Would you yeah. say? And then well, I mean, you ten minutes later, it beginning. turns out, oh, yeah. they're dead. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean that. Honestly, I thought the worst actors were those nuns. Like well, every yeah, time they spoke, that's what I, I thought. Was like, Man. They and then after so I'm I glad realized, they weren't in the movie. I was like, these. these I realized that terrible. I'm like, oh, they are. It turns out they are super cheap. They just didn't want to get other real actors <laughs> yeah. in the movie. Which is crazy, because I, I mean, supposedly they had like a $22 million budget. You could have made a really good, really good gothic The uh, movie. Slender Man movie had four people in it most of the time. Or no, just three. The first girl died. We don't even know what the, the real fucking cut of that movie is. Supposedly it got hacked. To I saw so that. I more. saw that. Yeah. Same thing to the Happy Time Murders, apparently. <laughs> Yeah. And everybody hates that, I too, I yeah. guess. Yeah, everybody hated it. Had some nice okay. gags, but... I liked it. What are you going to say? Nah, what can you do? But, uh, yeah, the non... I mean, I, I liked... I liked the Blood of Christ stuff, but I wish they didn't do the whole portal One to One more thing stuff. about like, the uh, Blood of Christ stuff. So they come, they do whatever sacrament to the portal the gate they just leave the blood of christ there i feel like that's a pretty important relic they'd probably they want that back it. in rome well maybe there was extra blood of christ <laughs> <laughs> they got they, they got, got batches stashes. of the yeah. stuff they got they've jugs got the, of it in the bag <laughs> exactly they've got a whole stockpile christ fine <laughs> blood comes in a weird <laughs> apple glass apple <laughs> Yeah, yeah, oh man, it's just you could have, you could have done so I much. I feel more like with if it. anybody else God. besides the Conjuring people had this, but not I like a know, cheapo, man. not like a cheapo one, not like a Bloomhouse asshole who's just like, all right, turn this out for me. I'm talking like, you remember when real directors used to do horror movies? I don't, I don't know, man. I, I hear what you're saying, and I definitely think the studio interfered with this. The the ending was um. Since I already fucked us over, the ending was, it turns out that Frenchie is the random guy who they show a clip of getting exercised yeah. in the first Conjuring. That really sucked. That was like, man, really? That's so we just, doing? we just closed the portal. We just threw the blood of Christ on the demon. Everything's resolved. We're leaving the castle. Everything's bright. The castle's bright. You know, the tone has changed. Yeah. Upside down cross on his neck. <laughs> yeah, that was so lame. It would have been better if Damien Bashir was possessed when he got bit by the snake in the eye. Because you see yeah. his eye like all white. That was really funny. I'm like, what? why did they yeah, have that to bite him in the eye? Bad. Unless it had yeah. a sort of importance. That's what, which well, I mean, didn't. I know this movie had reshoots. I had a series of visions when I was younger. And after each one ended, the same thought would be stuck in my head. 
did you see? I saw none. So I'm, I'm assuming they changed. Because he was the best Surprise. one. Everyone's like, they don't want to. All right, we don't want them to hate him at the end. That's that's the thing that's tough. Is like, I like Corn Hardy. He did this. He did a, a little weird horror movie called The Hollows. I might. I saw it. It's English or Scottish or Irish. Yeah, it's like Scottish. And I don't remember much about it. There's little fairy like, creatures. Yeah, or it's, something. it's creepy and weird. And uh, I was excited when he got announced to be, direct the movie because I, I think he's he's got some talent. But he didn't write the script for this, and I. Very, I strongly believe he didn't have final cut. <laughs> you figure he could have. You figure he at least could have given them some notes, like, "Hey guys, well, hey guys, could we change this here? This I, is kind of stupid. I, I, I'm a Catholic. <laughs> I'm an Irish Catholic. I this is dumb." Yeah, I, I got to give him credit for shooting the movie in Argentina. Like they, they tried to go to a different country. I re honestly and... thought it, that was like Europe. They they yeah. must have used some sort of weird filter because it was. Dark and desolate yeah. all the time. The fog looks good. I really good. like that. Yeah. You know, it's... And, you know, inside the castle. Inside uh, the castle was amazing. Yeah, it really looked good. Cinematography, the lighting. Yeah, the lighting was Everything good was perfect. Would you, would you say it was all natural lighting, basically? No, I, I definitely think they had lights. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't say they shot the movie. That one, you know, now that you say that, you're right, you're right. Like, just the one scene where she's in the basement outside the door... Yeah. And lights out, lights out. I'm like, how is that happening? Their only right. light would be, yeah, a uh, I, I, a window, ceiling yeah. window, sunlight. Did you uh, did you notice the overt um, like similarities in some aspects to Devil's Backbone? I was thinking of it throughout, but I couldn't place my the, finger on why. Why the, the kid who was the possessed, dead, possessed kid? Yeah, seeing him that really reminded me of. Devil's he just looked like that a little bit. Also, yeah. the bombs that drop. Yeah, the, the World castle. War Two. Well, that wasn't World War Two, no, but the Spanish. war. So war the uh, war. That I was like, which which doesn't even really tie in that much. I was like, hmm. why even bring that up? Yeah, you see, like these bombs. Dropping. They said that the like, bombs oh. triggered her to be released again. Maybe yeah, is that what they open said? The portal to hell or something. Not the like... What are you guys fucking dense? <laughs> Just get a fucking mad, that... crazy Romanian or something. That felt Shit. Like... <gasps> that felt like. Sure. The whole, the CG, like, bomb yeah, like, not only that, me? the whole origin story, it's like, come on, you guys can me, you're killing all tension about this fucking yeah. evil portal to hell and evil nun, or yeah, evil that's, Valak. That's the thing, is they build some really good tension, and then it just kind of evaporates, and... And I will say the jump scares did bother me. Like sometimes, like I, I like a, I'm well. Here's I'm okay the thing: you could James see them coming. Movies. You could see them coming every time. At least yeah. three times, I blocked my ears because I'm like, okay, I know exactly yeah. what's going to happen in a few seconds. Yeah, they drown the sound out. It's the three times movie. that I do it, it's like there's either the nun or another demonic creature right behind them, or they're walking up to it. Yeah. It's like, okay, I wonder what's going to happen when they reach her. Yeah, it's a bummer. I wish, uh, I wish maybe the director could have more say on the plot, the script. Maybe that would help. Cause yeah, the the same writer is is the guy for all these kind of Conjuring movies. So. What's his name? It's a like Gary. Chandling? Dumberman or something. Gary Gooberman. Shandling? Yeah, Gary Shandling rose from the grave. He's dead? Yeah, Gary Shandling's dead. Um, Died like last year. I apologize to the Shandling family. Although they're eating very well off those Gary Shandling show royalties, I'd imagine. The Larry Sanders show? Or the Gary Shand... Larry, what was the Larry Sanders show? I think it was. Gary Shandling also had a show, but I don't know what it was I'm called. I'm pretty sure it was called the Larry Sanders show. It was on HBO. Oh, okay. I never yeah. watched it, so I couldn't really say. Yeah, it was like really kind of meta. He was like playing a talk show host. And he would like Jerry Seinfeld would come on. Yeah, I, don't know. I may be screwing up the name of the show, but who cares? Yeah, nobody's. The joke was nobody's watching that. <laughs> that's that's what I was trying right. to set up. Yeah, we we got it. But um, yeah, it's it's. Yeah. Did you like the music? Yeah, there was there was some decent music in it. Um, you know, obviously the sound does cut out. 
a lot of the times because you know you're worrying okay when are we gonna have a jump scare when are they gonna blast the sound in our too in much our ears? that was the worst part about the sound of this movie was that yeah it's 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 just you know i wish they didn't have to do it but a lot of bone of cracking sound effects in this one yeah and that didn't really work for me I thought that's a uh, that's another kind of common cheap. trope in uh you know, horror modern movies. horror movies. Just yeah. a quick jerking and then the bone crack noise. Yeah. Star Wars, when we first see the nun in the beginning, the music made me think of the Emperor from Star Wars. Huh. It was like, bump, 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 but also on top of it, the creepy music. Yeah. The burial not being a dream was a goddamn joke. And then yeah, her that, figuring out that the father was buried. How the fuck did you come to that conclusion? Well, they set it up earlier with the whole... Um, yeah, yeah, but you hear a ringing bell. It's middle of the night. She, she didn't, even go, in, she well, didn't even go into the father's room, room to yeah. see that if he was sleeping or I, not. I hear what you're saying, yeah. it's Your first conclusion, <gasps> ringing bell. The demon buried the father. We're going she, medieval. And she and they don't really elaborate on her like powers. Like she had was she possessed when she was younger? They there's like some mystery. I think about it her. no, she, they just said she had visions. I think she it's, just Yeah, and so she she just like centers herself and she's able to find the grave. That's what I thought was gonna be interesting. I was like, Oh, yeah. okay, there's a she has a power against demons. Yeah. But after the first time yeah. it doesn't come up again. She gets and, possessed easily. It's sad what they do with that scene, because they should have just had her dig him up and let that be that, but then they have to have all these hands in the, in the casket with him. A lot of hands. Some sort of a weird hand fetish in this movie. Well, just a lot of hands. There was bursting one, out. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Descending from that, the grave. That's Ascending the, from the grave. The evil dead thing with like the zombie kind of shit. Yeah. Which didn't yeah, work. Yeah. And also was like, I was very confused. I was like, wait, there's zombies in the... In the Conjuring universe, because he slices he easily the head off of one. Yeah, he easily fells one of them like, and shoots how does, another. How does that work? Shotgun, double barrel shotgun, I might add. Yeah, it's it's totally like Ash. I I didn't piece that together to you so up. And he has zero of the charisma of <laughs> fucking Bruce Campbell. He made me think of as soon as I saw him. I was like, is this one of the Helmsworth brothers? The Hemsworth. Hemsworth, pardon me. Yeah, an adopted Hemsworth brother. They were emaciated. <laughs> kind of chunky. Weird accent, either English, trying to do a French-Canadian one, I couldn't yeah. tell. Yeah. Nuns French. were awful. Um, lighting was good, music was good, writing, bad. I guess, I guess I only see this one if you're really, really into the Conjuring series or really like, what's the name of the priest again? Bashir. Damien Bashir. Yeah. Damien Bashir. If, 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 obviously, if you like uh, the Conjuring movies, you're gonna, you've already seen it. <laughs> you're gonna go. Did see you it. like this better than the Annabelle movies? I liked it better than the first Annabelle. <laughs> but uh, yes, not, for sure. Uh, I liked Creation a lot. I know you didn't care for it, but uh, uh, and I really loved the first Conjuring movie when I saw it on theater. I, I loved that fucking. Movie. I did too, but I've rewatched it two or three times. Each time I rewatch it, it loses um, loses a little bit of steam. Now the thing is, is like you know, your first impression with a horror movie isn't. It's not gonna. Once everything's been revealed, like if you're never gonna have that same scare and suspense really ever again. Like you know what's gonna happen. Yeah. But, so yeah, it's a yeah. different experience, you know. But uh, I hear what you're saying. If Once you, you get past the scares, there's not much else to it. As far as the story, yeah. I, I, I could see that. You know, like I said, I haven't rewatched it in a while, but, you know. Yeah. So, uh, you want to do uh, final recommendations on it? Or you, you got anything else you want to say on it? I can't really. Like final it's, ratings. I mean, yeah. It's kind of late. I can't really think of anything else to say. We've already, you know, gone over all of it, yeah. I'd say. Except for any minor nitpicks I forgot about. Um. I would say only see it if you're really into the Conjuring movies. I'd give it a, I'd give it a, I'd give it a five. And retroactively, never mind. I would, I would agree with you. I, I, about halfway through, I was like, oh, maybe this could be a six, and then I was like, nah, nah, this is, this is dropping. When does it's, it? It's um, a five. It's when an does it? Film. When does it fall? Fall off for you? 
right when he shovel throws a shovel into the face of a yeah, zombie that, nun. Yeah, that really didn't work. And I mean, listen, you know, I so said you you were scoffing at the movie through the thing, and then the people behind us, and I was like, yeah. He it got just, somebody got stabbed in the dick with a crucifix. It, it wasn't this dick. I know it looked like it, but it wasn't. That's what it, that's what made me laugh. Yeah, no, you really you really loved that. Just out of nowhere, <laughs> motherfucking nun just stabbed this dude in his dick. Yeah, that that was also just lame. Like seriously. Like, Did you like the on. ending sequence where she's like drowning her or whatever? <sighs> I mean, I thought it was kind of dumb that she broke open the. Uh, it was cool. Reliquary. When, when he put the blood of Christ on her. I like that. I thought that. And I like the whole blood of Christ thing was kind of interesting, and then honestly. When she gets thrown in the Except water. Except for how it was there. When she gets thrown in the water, I was like, oh, okay, that's going to get the, the, the blood off of her. And um, I just. It, they mess with her eyes, the nun's eyes with the CG, and she, they give the CG rabbit. When, when she first rises like, out of the water, it's entirely CG, and it looks yeah. kind of kind of silly yeah i just um like i mean i hate to say the same thing again and again but it's just it's just a missed opportunity and i just i was really really hoping that this would be great I really oh i came in i came in knowing it was gonna be either no, I, I, under I, underwhelming or just bad no, outright I, bad i mean i i knew it wasn't gonna be that great because i was hearing things um I didn't watch any reviews or anything. The walls are talking, my friends. Yeah, I was I was just hearing people say some stuff and that you know, it didn't get a very good like cinema score, which is the, the everyone who sees it open weekend they give it a rating and it, it yeah. got like a C plus. And I was like, Oh man, that's that's pretty bad. I know that doesn't sound that bad, but it and for that well, mo- most for, things get like a for a, a horror minus. movie that costs twenty two million, it's gonna make probably a hundred Hundred and twenty. Oh, that's maybe. the thing is we've we we haven't seen this opening weekend. We'll tell people, but this opened huge. Yeah, like, this is the it's highest, a conjuring movie. Th- this is the this I'm, is the only other working, um, like Marvel universe style universe. Would you agree with me there? Yeah, we haven't had a um, universe of horror movies since the Universal horror movies. Way back in the, the fucking day. 50s and 60s and shit. Yeah, well, even earlier. Yeah, 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 the when 30s. they started. Yeah, with the, and even with Abbott and Costello adding in and everything. That was the first real kind of shared well, universe of What movies. other um, shared universe exists besides the Marvel that's well, DC, successful? Well, DC is successful. Very, that's like, uh, well, they're successful, but not on the level they'd like. Like, they're no. spending three, four hundred million on a movie, making six, seven. That's yeah. not what they're trying to do. I mean, they, they've had some, they've had some heads, but uh, yeah, Marvel's obviously huge, and this, the whole Conjuring universe, but nothing else really that has a universe of films. There's obviously every studio is trying to. Uh, whoa! Uh. You know, usually. Fail miserably because you need to focus on making just one good movie instead of um, they, 12 shit ones. Right, and the thing with The Conjuring is that they never planned on this being a, a universe. When we were making the first Conjuring, it became very apparent to us that there could be a bigger universe, you know, which is why just... James Wan has not worked on any other one directly except for the second, I believe, right? Yes, yeah, and he, he shot at one scene for Annabelle and he uh. He did some work on this movie, uh, in Second Unit. He Corn was a Hardy. producer. He was, he was a producer, but I also heard Cor- Corn Hardy, the director. He said that James came on the set and he did direct some things um, for Second Unit. So I think that's why, and the, that the atmosphere for the most part is really good in the movie because he's good at stuff like that with you know fog in the background and you know just you know. I would have never guessed ambience. this was shot in Argentina. Really? What, um, just as a change of pace to end it tonight, what are some upcoming horror movies for this horror season that have piqued your interest? That, uh, upcoming releases for the rest of the year that I'll yeah, that sure. see? Yeah. Um, well, obviously, number one on the list, it's not going to be a shock to anybody. It's Halloween. Um, I'm tentative. 
Yeah, I mean, well, I'm really excited, but I also think I could be massively disappointed. Um, I think it's going to probably be pretty shitty. That's well, just my I, I that's guarantee just my you it's going to be better than like all the sequels. Yeah, so that's that's kind of the number one horror movie that I'm most excited about. And I don't know of any. And the other one would be uh, Hellfest, which is coming out towards the end of the month. Hellfest? It's, yeah, it's about uh, this, like, amusement park. Oh, I saw the preview. Yeah, it it, could, it looks like can't be kind of fun. I didn't watch the trailer, but um, it, it's 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 nice to kind of see that kind of slasher movie in an amusement park. That could be fun. So that's, It could be fun, I or yeah. it could, again, like oh, I've be said shit, before, it could sure. be shit. But, I mean, that's the... Uh, it's the American what, way. That's, you roll the dice. You know, you roll them dice. I watched a... Um, and I tried watching an interview with the director, Lim Ramsey, of You Were Never Really Here. Yeah. Couldn't understand a fucking word the bitch <laughs> yeah. said. Super thick bro. Thick Super. fucking Scottish accent. Yeah. The thick, one of the thick, we, we, we shot it out and then we did this and well, the, should, the lighting was already good. the subtitles on. The fucking auto subs? You kidding me? Could have tried. <laughs> it might have been even, it would have said the mad pie comes at midnight. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I listened to um, an interview she did with uh, uh, Elvis Mitchell for uh, it's a pod. Well, he it's for NPR. Well, not NPR. It's a uh, KCRW, and uh, the Caser. It's, it's over in LA, and she she was with Joaquin. And Joaquin, he, I like the way you said his name. He uh, <laughs> like a uh, border town sheriff. Well, you looking for Joaquin? But, uh, yeah, I, that was a good interview, and I could understand her, but she does, like I said, super thick brogue. Based on a novel, I, the fa famous novel, a very good novel, it's very straightforward, you, you follow it, the ghosts that follow him. Was that the bonus feature? No, 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 it was just on YouTube. Oh, okay. It just was on YouTube yeah. looking around. So. Um, if you ever, you know, want to hear an Irish-Scottish lady tell you about her movie, may God help you. <laughs> Whoa! Uh -huh.